This is Joe Biden, the resident of the United States. On September 28, 2022, Biden spoke at the Conference on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health, and as presidents are wont to do, Biden acknowledged members of Congress attending the event. And I want to thank all of you here for including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this a reality. Okay, so Jackie would be former Representative Jackie Lewarski, and I say former because unfortunately she died in a car crash back on August 3rd. And you'd think that Joe Biden would know this as he put out a statement regarding her death saying, Jill and I are shocked and saddened by the death of Congresswoman Jackie Wolarski of Indiana. So if her death was so shocking and saddening to Joe Biden, you'd think that maybe he'd remember that the Congresswoman is no longer with us. But whatever, he has a stutter or something. So as the top senior political analyst on YouTube, I have been forced to watch hundreds of Joe Biden events where he makes speeches and remarks, and I can tell you with absolute certainty that I know exactly what happened here. First, Biden was reading prepared remarks off of a teleprompter, obviously. So when he said Congresswoman Wolarski's name, it didn't come off the top of his head. I mean, this is a man that needs instructions written on a card to tell him to walk through a door and sit down in a chair. So to reiterate, Biden said her name because he was instructed to. Consider Biden's statement regarding the Congresswoman's death. She also served as co-chair of the House Hunger Caucus, and my team and I appreciated her partnership as we planned for a historic White House conference on hunger, nutrition, and health this fall that will be marked by her deep care for the needs of rural America. And since this White House Hunger Conference was months in the making, it would make sense that Biden's remarks were prepared well in advance of the car crash. But unfortunately, those remarks were not amended and the Congresswoman's name was left in for Biden to read. Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Okay, so calling Jim McGovern Representative Govern notwithstanding. Representative Govern. Notice that he referred to the other congressmen and senators by their last names, but not Congresswoman Walarski. Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? That's because this is a common occurrence with Joe Biden. Oftentimes, he has trouble pronouncing a name. In an attempt to distract from said mistake, he'll point out that person in the audience and or pay them a compliment. Congressman Eggs, Sauce, where is she? There you go, Jake. And John Gerundi uh, for, uh, for leading this effort. Thanks, John. I really mean it. Other times, he'll refer to them by their first name or their title, because he sees the name on the teleprompter and he knows he's gonna butcher it. Javier, Mr. Secretary, you can come up too. I've been watching on television, you've been really good. Now uh, you, uh, I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Secretary, Mr. Secretary, I'm gonna have you speak now. Look, healthcare is part of Abigail, Congresswoman, uh, uh, or your Congresswoman's uh, um, background. So in the case of Biden attempting to pronounce Walarski, not only did he give up on trying to say it, but he substituted her last name with her first name. Representative Jackie, are you here? And then he did the shout out. Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. And that's where he got in trouble. If Joe Biden simply read her name and continued on with his speech, the White House could have simply chalked it up to a staffer's error and moved on. But instead, Joe Biden is incapable of giving remarks without f***ing it up in some way. Where's Jackie? Anyway, the Where's Jackie incident was so glaring that not even the White House press corps could ignore it. No less than eight journalists in the briefing room asked Biden's spokesperson, Karine Jean-Pierre, to ask what the hell happened. What happened in the hunger event today? The president appeared to look around the room uh, for an audience member, a member of Congress who passed away last month, he seemed to indicate she might be in the room. What, so, what 
So the president was, uh, as you all know, you guys were watching uh, today's event, a very important event on uh, food insecurity. The president was naming uh, the congressional champions on this issue and was acknowledging her incredible work. Okay, but part of the issue is that Biden started his acknowledgement by saying, I want to thank all of you here for in including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative... Jackie, are you here? So of course Biden was confused because the teleprompter said that the people he was naming were in the audience, including Jackie Walarski. All Kareen has to do is say that and then move on. But instead, he had uh, he had already uh, planned to welcome the Congresswoman's family uh, to the White House on Friday. There will be a, a bill signing in her honor this coming Friday. Uh, so, of course, she was on his mind. She was of top of mind uh, for the president. OK, fine. If that's the excuse the White House wants to go with, then let's go with it. He uh, looks very much looks forward to discussing her remarkable legacy of public service with them when he sees her family this coming Friday. He said, Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? She must not be here. No, I totally understand. I just, I just explained she was on top of mind. So let me get this straight. The late Congresswoman was top of mind for Joe Biden because he was planning on honoring her at a bill signing because she recently died, which is why he called out to her. Makes sense to me, what's your problem? And just one more quick follow up because I'm trying to get my head around the response. If the late Congresswoman was top of mind for the president and her family was expected to be here and that's what he was thinking about, what, why was he looking for her? I'm, I'm not trying to be snarky here. No, I mean, and I'm... <laughs> no. Nope. saying and what he said there. <laughs> Do you hear the frustration? The majority of the White House press corps will usually slurp up whatever the press secretary serves. But today, they're not having it. Sorry to have to do this, but I'm compelled to ask you to go one more time back to the question about Congresswoman Wolorski. I'm not sure why. Why? Why one more time? Frankly, honestly, I think the memory of the Congresswoman in history requires some clarity here. Um, hmm. So Kareem's like, hmm, I'm not sure why you would keep asking why Joe Biden called out to a dead woman. What's the big deal? Can you explain where the mistake was made? Did the pres was the president confused? W was something written in the teleprompter that he didn't recognize? Can you just help us understand what happened? I mean, you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. Obviously, no, but you're... But, find but out I, what happened here. I, no, I hear you, Stephen. I'm, I'm answering the question that you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. I just answered the question. If I had said, if that had been the case, I would have stated that, right? I would clearly have stated uh, what you just laid out. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Because what happened is clearly what Steve Portnoy is laying out. Biden was confused because her name was in the remarks. And if the White House would simply admit that, the press would be a lot more understanding on the issue. Would you be prepared to release the prepared remarks that the president had in teleprompter just so we could understand? Uh, I'm not understanding why why that would be would be necessary. We always share uh, the remarks that the president uh, had, um, uh, even you know delivered. That's probably going to be up on the website. Uh, not really sure what that has to. do. Do with anything. I just answered the question. So Kareem doesn't understand the difference between a written speech and a delivered speech. <laughs> right. Uh, what I have said is that she was on top of mind. So again, instead of simply blaming a staffer, they're going to run with the poorest excuse imaginable. And Kareem thinks that if she says top of mind enough, that eventually they're going to accept it and move on. So, of course, she was on his mind. She was of top of mind. She was on top of mind. I mean, I think many people can speak to sometimes when you have someone top of mind, they're a top of mind, exactly that. And she was a top of mind. He, she was on top of mind. I don't think it's all that unusual uh, to have someone top of mind being on top of mind, top of mind. And uh, she was on top of mind, top of mind. Again, she was on the top of mind. I feel like many of us have gone through uh, that particular uh, you know, time where someone is on top of mind and you call them out. The confusing part is why, if she and the family is top of mind, does the president think that she's living and in the room? I don't find that confusing. I mean, I have John Lennon okay. top of mind just about every day, but I'm not looking around for him anywhere. When you sign a bill for John Lennon, Lennon has president, then we can have this conversation. What does that even mean? Okay, go ahead. 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 These moments of 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Excuse me. There are Americans that are watching this that are having concerns. What do you say to that? This is a legitimate question. We need to have some answers. Thank you. Damn! When you lose the correspondent from Al Jazeera, you know you're in trouble. But maybe, just maybe, if one of the reporters asks it in just the right way, Queen Jean-Pierre will actually answer the question. Does the president believe that in his reference to the late Representative Jackie Walorski, who you have said uh, from the podium numerous times he respects the work that she has done, he'll be meeting with her family um, to honor her work, does he believe that he handled that reference appropriately? Or is this something that he would like to get back? Get, uh, what, like to get back what? When he said, where is Jackie? <laughs> so, Philip Wegman from Real Clear Politics essentially asked if Biden, in hindsight, would like to have said things differently, and Kareem's like, huh? Look. I know this is a, a question that many of you have had. I've answered it multiple times uh, already in this room. Uh, and my answer is certainly not going to change. Well, to the press corps credit, they tried. In the meantime, Where's Jackie is quickly becoming the next Let's Go Brandon and is pretty memeable. Well, we okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Mr. President. Mr. Yes. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I don't think she was going to be here. You know, uh, here we go. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I don't think she was going to be here. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I don't think she was going to be here. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run. Be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. A special thanks to Poofy for her help with this week's script. And as always, I hope to see you next time. If there is next time.